Welcome to the Field Family Avengers. Today we're doing Poffle Church, St. Like Olaf's. I'm here with my, my uh, granddaughter Phoebe. Hi. And we're going to have a look around the church in Poffle, in Beauty and Cornwall. See you in a minute. This part up here is all the new part of the, the graveyard, well, recently ish. And all this part down here and around is the, uh, the older part. St Olaf's Church is an evangelical Anglian church in the po village of Poffle on the edge of Bude, North Cornwall. The parish church of Poffle can be found at the heart of the village. It was dedicated to St Olaf, King and Martyr, who is reputed to be the Norwegian king and so-called Martyr St Olaf. Olaf II of Norway. Much of the church building dates from the 14th century, but at the rest restoration in 1928, the foundations of the original Norman church were uncovered. However, nothing of this remains above ground. It was probably originally cruciform, but in the 14th century, a narrow north aisle with an arcade of stone was added the south aisle seems to have been intended, only the eastern bay was built. This was completed in the 15th century in granite, and the chancel of the north aisle was widened. The piscina and ombre in the south chancel are 13th century.
The porch is perpendicular in style, retaining its original 14th century stone benches on either side. Formerly, it was largely used for secular business. The Lich Gate was built in 1897, but the former gates, with their ancient ironwork, are preserved in the tower. The massive oak door dates from the 15th century with its original ironwork and huge wooden case lock. The modern oak door dates from 1971. On the east side of the door is the holy water stoop, but the basin has been renovated. Hoffel Church is famous for its splendid carved oak bench ends. On entering the building, an immediate impression is created by the magnificent pews and bench ends, the old communion table and the officiant's desk facing the people, which is a seldom found survival of earlier times. The deeply carved oak bench ends date probably from the time of Henry VII, which was 1485 to 1509. Many have emblems and scenes telling in minute, minute detail the story of the Passion. The other shallow and less expert carvings date from the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. They are less numerous and are mainly armorial carvings of the sacred initials IHC. Just inside the church building, over the main entrance, is the Sir Goldsworthy Gurney tablet. It records the fact that the clock was placed in the tower in memory of Gurney, whose success in speeding communications brought about the adoption of a standard time throughout the country. This occurred only last century, until 1852, Exeter clock showed local time. On the church walls there are two frescoes which date from about 1470 and depict St Christopher. They were discovered in 1894 beneath the whitewash. Such paintings were once common in churches. The Poffel accounts record the washing out of the figures in 1550 at the time of the Reformation. According to the legend St Christopher was a heathen giant who on turning Christian was instructed by the holy hermit to carry travellers over a dangerous ford and who one stormy night carried the child Jesus on his shoulder.
first one there. The spinster who died in 1979. Oh, sorry, 1779. The merry wife of Richard. She died in 1757, age 72. The Royal Arms, 1655, in raised plaster over the vestry door, dates from Charles II reign. His initials, CR, are in the upper corners. Charles I's original letter of thanks, in 1643, had been painted on the church wall. Now only the copy hangs in the church. He thanked his Cornish subjects for their loyalty and efforts in the Civil War against overwhelming odds at the Battle of Stamford Hill. The parliamentary forces were routed. This battle was fought on the outskirts of Poffel on the 16th of May, 1643. Going back to uh, from the Bible. Not the bell tower. Bell towers at the other end. The door outside. Bring you at the back.
don't know if the camera will pick this up. Quite hard to read because it's red on black. Saints now on there. Going in the middle there. Saint Olaf. Church is named after. The church retains its late 15th century wagon roofs and except in the chancel and porch the plaster panels remain the carved roof bosses of wood are a feature of the west country stone roof bosses are common elsewhere the vestry door was once the entry to the former winding stairway to the rude loft over the former screen which was once extended right across the church the tower is of pendicular style, 14th century with embattled crocketed pinnacles and built of granite, it contains a peal of six bells, none however of great antiquity. Beneath the tower there was formerly a singing gallery on pillars put in 1779 and occupied by a band of instrumentalists and singers before the days of harmonium or organ. This was taken down in 1860. The screen was erected in The granite font is 13th century with blind arcade carvings and there is a 13th century piscina and ombre cupboard in the south aisle. The south nave arcade pillars are made of granite while those on the north are of Payan stone from Normandy. The pulpit was carved by a parishioner about 1880 from an oak beam taken from the old church house building opposite the church and converted into dwellings. In the time of the Reformation, the pulpit probably stood in the middle of the chancel. Thank you for watching the Filt Family Avengers. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe and leave a comment and give me a big thumbs up. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.